Welcome back to another Food Reviews with Fatty. As always, I have something new today. Um, this is actually something that they just started including at the Burger King. So I am doing the King of Whoppers today as a video. Um, this is actually going to be a two-part series. I'm actually going to be doing not only this, but the second video is going to be the uh, Cheesy Tots. This is not new exactly, but it is returning to Burger King, so it is a limited time, and of course anything limited time, or anything else that, that generally fits that description, clearly I'm going to do a review on. Um, that way people can get the real deal understanding, um, the real honesties of the situation. Um, so, the two things, the other thing that I'm doing is called the, um, they have the new Burger King melts. Uh, some of these were uh, reintroduction, so to speak, because they're not exactly new, but they did add a new sandwich, a new addition. Um, they have a classic, a spicy, and they also have a mushroom Swiss melt. So, I decided I was going to review the Mushroom Swiss Melt from Burger King. Um, so, these do run about six bucks for the sandwich. Um, they're not gigantic or nothing, but they're all right. Um, I didn't expect it to be super huge. It's like this right here. If you can see, it's got the mushrooms and the Swiss right there on the burger. However, it is fresh, and that's good. So, like it, it at least it feels fresh, even if it wasn't. Um, so I'm going to assume the calories are kind of heavy for this one. It's, uh, 680 calories for the mushroom Swiss. Um, it's not horrible. It's not the worst, but, uh, I mean, like, like I always say, it's not something that I would eat every day, but for the sake of the reviews, of course, I want to be able to make an opinion and be known on this, um, and review it, uh, thoroughly. So yeah, it's just basically... A mushroom, uh, a, a hamburger patty with mush. I'm sorry, maybe two two hamburger patties with some Swiss in the middle and some Swiss on top. Some mayonnaise, it looks like, which I'm not really too happy about that, but it is what it is. And mushrooms, and they're all on these what they call sourdough breads. I'm really not sure it's sourdough. Uh, it looks more like a uh, the bottom bun twice. So I'm going to assume that's probably what this is. That's how they do it. As they call it the sourdough, but it's really just looks just like the bun. That's all it looks like to me. Um, the bottom side of the bun is what it is. The heel, as they call it. Um, yeah, so I mean, it could be, I think it's going to be pretty good. Um, that's why I say I'm going to do a two-part video is because I also want to do a, a review of the Cheesy Tots um, to cover that as well since that's something that's limited edition and just came back to Burger King. So, uh, yeah, as far as that goes, like I said, this is basically just a mushroom Swiss burger uh, shoved in between two bottom buns, bottom portions of a bun uh, that were toasted. I can tell that right now uh, without even tasting it. I, I just can tell this is not a sourdough bread. Uh, it just looks like a too thick, like I said, too thick heels. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to dig in. Why not? Mm-hmm. Just as I expected. It's not sourdough. So that was a kind of a lie. Um, for all extensive marketing purposes, of course, right, Burger King? That's what you do out there, buddy. I already know. All these fast food restaurants, they market something as something. And a lot of times it's not what they really say it is. Um... As far as I understand, that's what they really originally claimed it was going to be a sourdough bread. And it's definitely not a sourdough bread. It's just regular bread. Uh, the mayo doesn't really do it any justice with the mushrooms because Burger King, I don't like mayo to begin with, but Burger King's especially. I didn't know that was on there, so now I'm kind of stuck reviewing it anyway. Uh, the mayo makes the, the mushrooms taste funny. And I mean real funny. Um, not not super happy about that, but it is what it is. Um, the burger with the Swiss and the, and, the, and the mushrooms, maybe without the mayo, this would be slightly better. Um, but as far as this goes, I really don't think this is like the uh, 
I, I feel like it's a swing and a miss, <laughs> as Oliver Tree would say. If this is it, it's a swing and a miss um, with the mayo. However, the burger itself actually does have a pretty good taste. I'm going to go ahead and I tried it this way. Now I'm going to go this way and see if it changes up the flavor a little bit. Sometimes when you flip it a different way, it seems to have a different profile. Mm. Mm. No. I mean, it is a mushroom Swiss melt like they stated. The cheese is melty. The mushrooms don't taste horrible. Um, I've definitely had worse. Um, I mean, it's just that mayo really throws off the whole burger. Uh, burger King, the king of burgers, the king of whoppers. <clears throat> you might not want to add mayo to every single sandwich you have because that really makes people disgusted, especially with the amount of mayo that your employees will throw on a sandwich. Um... I don't like a lot of mayo. I don't like mayo, period. I like America Whip. And I usually get America Whip light uh, because it has some kind of flavor. This, I can't taste the mayo. It just It's just that flat, salty, just horrible taste. Um, Y'all really got to quit with that white sauce, man. You got to get that white sauce out of here, man. That's basically all I can say about that. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really not impressive. Um, at least not for six bucks for the value. I'm going to say one thumb down only because six bucks for this sandwich is just really not worth it. Uh, thumbs down for the calories because that's a lot of calories for one little sandwich like this. Um, I will say one thumb up, uh, for the burger because the burger tastes good, but one thumb down for the mayo. It's basically all I can really say right now about that. Um, the burger's good though. I just definitely wouldn't, if I got it again, I wouldn't get it with mayo. Just not at all. That, I think, is what takes away from the flavor of this burger. Uh, I mean, even ketchup would do more for it, honestly. <laughs> mustard, by it, just mustard on it. Anything would, would have more flavor than this mayonnaise. By the way, Burger King, PSA, you need to get better mayo, dude. Like, this is horrible. Um, so, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to say about that one. <laughs> As always, I do have my sideshow host, uh, my sideshow host, my sh my host of the show, um, and he is kind of like a sideshow in a way, uh, because Mr. Predicto speaks and tells it how it is. Mr. Predicto, is this mushroom and Swiss melt any good from Burger King? That works. Strong possibility is better than no possibility, I guess. So like I said, it, it's not terrible. It just definitely without the mayo. I might wipe the mayo off of this sandwich and then eat it. Uh, just because I don't know why. They got to cake it in mayonnaise. Nobody likes that like that. The only mayonnaise that I ever liked was patty mayonnaise from Doug. And I, I, I don't know. I just She was exotic and sleek in the show. She, an athletic girl. You know, so that's really why I like that. It was a cartoon also, and I was a kid. I was eight or nine years old when that came out. So, of course, I, you know, childhood crushes and whatnot. So, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because I want to get my second video started. And I'm going to release these at two separate times only because I don't want to put out two videos in one day. Uh, it just feels kind of cheesy and overplayed. You know, the, no, no reason to play out and sell all my content on YouTube, put it all up on YouTube really quickly. Um, although I would like to beat out some of the other reviewers, like I'm doing right now, obviously. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the end of this one. I thank everybody who stayed till the end. Um, and I do thank everybody who has watched, liked, and subscribed and rang the bell. If you haven't yet, please go do so. Um, it would definitely help out the channel. Also, in the description below... There are links to the Patreon, uh, Food Reviews of Fatty Patreon, 
the uh, links also to the merch. So if you want to help out the channel either way, that would help out greatly. Um, also, uh, I do have um, anybody who would like to put anything in the comments below. I would really much appreciate if you told me some things that you'd like to see me review. And I would definitely do my best to try to find those things and review them honestly because that's what this channel is all about. Um, so... Uh, that's basically it. Also, I'm no sponsor of Burger King, but Burger King, if you want to sponsor me or anybody else, I'd be more than happy to do honest reviews on your products and put them up on YouTube. So with that being said, I'm going to say thank you to all the lovely people out there watching. And I also want to go ahead and call it a day. So it is a day. Food reviews of Fatty out.